Tony, we, nice to talk to you. How's nice it going? To talk to you as well. Back at Radio Pardon? Two, doing the big show on a Saturday afternoon. Congratulations! Oh, thank you very much. Well, I'm absolutely delighted. You know, I um, I was offered it about uh, I, it must be about five or six weeks ago, and I thought about it for about two seconds and said yes, please, because it's just <laughs> a wonderful show. It's it's rather like Radio Two's uh, answer to the Archers, isn't it? It's gone on for a long time. Fluff Freeman, of course, who was a great friend of mine, he did it, and uh, if I can do it as half as well as him, then I'll be very happy. It's really interesting because the last time we met was at that book launch and commercial radio is in such a horrible, horrible place and mm. we were both holding on for grim death. Um, I don't know how you feel, but really, the only place to do personality radio now is at the BBC. There's nothing left, is there? Well, it's, it, it's, you're quite right. It's very, very difficult. Uh, I'm lucky. I do work in commercial radio still and I have my own programmes. I'm allowed to choose my own music, but I know exactly what you mean. You know, three in a row and a time check is not exactly the sort of radio I want to listen to and the same 300 records over and over again. And uh, this is where they get it wrong. I mean, yeah, I love the BBC. I always love the BBC. And to be back on national radio at the BBC for me is just a, an absolute joy and doing this particular programme because, of course, Pick of the Pops, um, all these records that I'm playing now, um, they're all records I played as new releases. <laughs> <laughs> so also, actually, you're just doing the same shows from 50 years ago. <laughs> exactly. Well, somebody on a Digital Spy, you know the Digital Spy, there, there are people there that have got the chart that I did last week actually as I did it on Radio 1 40 or whatever it was no. years ago <laughs> it's unbelievable <laughs> and I tried to, I tried to uh, download it this morning and I couldn't do it mm. uh, because there was some fault with something or other but I'm going to try and get it because it's just it's just funny uh, it's a great program and it's very strange when I'm doing it and I've only done now uh, that one I do it as live in January January the 29th which incidentally Alex is my birthday oh, and my if you'd birthday. like to send me a card it would be great with a, <laughs> quite a substantial present that would be nice uh, I'm doing it absolutely 100% live as from January but we can get in the studios then and do it will that mean you can have a bit of mucking about with the listeners well it that will that is going to be tricky because it's such a tight program to do and I'm playing more records now on, on Pick of the Pops I don't know if anybody's noticed than ever before um, and we are putting a, an extra one or two records in so it is very difficult it's very tight for time and a chart show is very very difficult to do more difficult to do actually than an ordinary show and, and particularly that rundown music there I had to take that home and practice it and that was quite a challenge but I've got it now it's like riding a bike have you got a pen and paper <laughs> You're not going to try yes. me out on it. Yeah, all right. So let's do a, ch a chart from today. So we've got Mama Cass right. at number 10. Oh, I can't because I haven't got it, the chart in front of me. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's just write it down. Let's just make anything up. Mama yeah. Cass, Robbie Williams. Well, I tell you what, I could, yeah. I could say, hi, it's Tony Blackburn here with Pig of the Pops. All right, here we go then. Hi, mate. Good afternoon. Welcome along. Tony Blackburn with Pig of the Pops. <laughs> You got your timing well, right then. Lovely. Yeah, but you're not using you're not using the exact version we use. Oh, have I got the wrong one? Uh, well, no, it's very good, but it's slightly different to the one that we use. Uh, okay, well, I'll, yeah. I'll forgive Only you. Only a little different, case. but it's very good. And I, I can say I've been talking to a lot of BBC stations today, and congratulations because you're the only person that's taken the trouble to get that bit of music. Right. Listen, I've got to talk to you about this, and I know we're going to get yeah. kicked off the air with it. But aren't most radio DJs morons? Come on. No, they are. They don't think. No, they no. turn up and they read sheets. And I was at a radio station called Capital Gold and I did their uh, late mm. show for, for about a year and they're all fossils and they haven't come <laughs> back and I want to talk to you about this because was there a point when you worried you'd be one of them that suddenly you were just the old guy you might have been the first guy on Radio 1 all this that yeah. and the other thing but nobody cared anymore I've never, I've never thought that. <laughs> I don't think so. No, I've always kept up to date with modern day music and stuff like that. And uh, no, I mean, I mean, uh, I, I wouldn't quite agree with you there, Alex. To be honest with you, no, I can't say that. I don't think uh, DJs are morons at all. I mean, there are there are one or two that haven't got a lot to say, but that, that, that's that's not necessarily their fault. That is sometimes the people that they're working for. And I've found the only thing over the years is that it's difficult sometimes to come on the air and be yourself because uh, sometimes they want you just basically to uh, talk for two seconds and then introduce a record and I like personality radio and that's what I'm about and mm. I've been very lucky in being in places where it is personality you know I do love it I, I, I love it very very much indeed and, and you know to be invited on uh, BBC Radio 2 it took 30 years 30 years to get on Radio 2 and uh, but I, I never thought they would invite me onto the station but I, I'm just delighted because it's sort of done a, a, a circle really because being on national radio on Radio 1 and then going to um, local radio which I I love, incidentally. I absolutely love it. I'm still on 
BBC London here in London. I love local radio. But to be on a, a national station like Radio 2, which is a tremendous station, and be amongst all those great broadcasters for me is an absolute thrill. And of course, at the top of their game at the minute, we had Chris Evans on on Friday. And, yeah. and like you said, to be in a place where you can say anything and you get 10,000 texts is a wonderful thing. Your power it is, it is, is remarkable. And, and also another thing, I've, I've, I've had a best friend called Phil Swern for 46 years. We've known one another for 46 years. We, we'd go out to dinner together. We'd, you know, we've just been great friends. Never had an argument in our life. And he is actually the producer on pick of the pops and so it, it's a dream come true I've got the best show you know I've got this wonderful show to do and I've got my best friend producing it and uh, that is just tremendous you know and being on on BBC Radio 2 of course as well Tony and our last the minute together I need to ask you an honest question because I keep mocking yes, about it yes I do love this. you Alex yeah I know you do yeah. I have a voice that's like a chain coming off a motorbike how do I sound like a proper DJ like you with a proper voice and proper inflection <laughs> on the right emphasis and all of that stuff I can't do it it. What are you talking about? You've got a very good voice. Yeah, but got you've a got a radio proper voice. radio voice. I just sound like the bloke on the street. Well, that's all right. What's, what's wrong with that? When did you... Did you... you don't have to sound plummy and, uh, <laughs> you know, sort of like me. No, no you you're not have, you plummy. You don't have to sound like a moron like me. No, you're not a moron. Come on. And do you know what oh, moron means in the... Do, mate. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what moron means in the dictionary? Have you ever looked it up? No Some, idea. Someone of bovine intelligence. Oh, really? <laughs> no, you sound fine. Don't, oh, thank the, you. don't try and be somebody you're not. That's my, my advice. All right. Coming up next is Pixie Lot Mama Do. I'm going to play the bed. We're going to say goodbye. And could you do, hi, welcome to Pick of the Bobs. And here's a Pixie Lot Mama Do. Could you do that for me? Here we I'll go. I'll say Pixie Lot. Yeah. Hello, Tony Blackman here with uh, Pick of the Pops, and right now, here's Pixie Lot. Alex Belfield. <laughs> 